New Arizona Cardinals head coach Steve Wilkes takes over a team that is going through a bit of transition, not too much to the point where it's a complete rebuild, but enough to where you can expect the expectations to be a bit tapered entering the season. Now, is that the correct way to view this team, or is there an oasis in the desert that's not a mirage when talking about the 2018 Arizona Cardinals? Let's find out as we preview the upcoming season. Let's get things kicked off by taking a look at some of the key storylines heading into the season as we go into our four-minute offense. The Arizona Cardinals have a new head coach in Steve Wilkes who comes over after a six-year run as the Carolina Panthers defensive backs coach. He spent the last two seasons as assistant head coach and last year was also the Panthers defensive coordinator. Now, Wilkes has been a well-respected defensive back coach for well over 20 years and brings a strong coaching philosophy to the table with regards to how he expects his team to play and the pressure that he will create. I feel as though this was a terrific hire because when you look at this Cardinals team, they are closer to being great on the defensive side of the ball than they are on the offensive side of the ball from a personnel standpoint. That's why one of the most important moves for Wilkes uh, that he made as a head coach, his first stint as a head coach, was to bring in another former head coach, Mike McCoy, to run his offense. The mark of a good head coach is hiring good assistants, and from the looks of his staff, Wilkes is already off to an excellent start. There is a legitimate quarterback battle going on in the desert as free agent signee and longtime veteran Sam Bradford is competing with first round pick Josh Rosen for the number one job. Bradford gets the dreaded qualifier when he's healthy or if he's healthy when you bring up his name. And he was having a fantastic start to last year for the Vikings before going down with an injury. That's why Rosen has a legitimate shot to win the job. I actually compared Rosen to Bradford from a skills perspective at UCLA and to be honest, he has some of the same injury concerns as Bradford. Now, from all reports coming from training camp, Rosen seems to be a quick study and has made this race much tighter than expected. The Cards also brought in Mike Glennon to be the number two or number three on his roster, but his job may not be guaranteed as rookie undrafted free agent Chad Canoff from Princeton seems to be making a serious play for the spot, which will definitely keep things interesting the rest of the summer. Like I mentioned a few minutes ago, Steve Wilkes has an excellent track record of success in the secondary. That was one of the major question marks about this Cardinals defense for a few years now, mostly because of depth questions at corner. This offseason, they went out and acquired Jamar Taylor, Benet Ben Wickery, and drafted Chris Campbell out of Penn State to hopefully provide an upgrade alongside all pro corner Patrick Peterson. When the Cardinals were great, they could match up with any passing game across the board, and you can bet that one of the major priorities in year one for Coach Wilkes is to ensure that is the case for this Cardinal secondary. We all know that a great pass rush can easily help out any secondary, and one of the best pass rushers on the team is hoping to return from injury by week one, and that's Marcus Golden. Golden, who is entering the final year of his contract, is coming off of a torn ACL. He's scheduled to be out there opening week, and is taking his rehab with the right approach by not wanting to rush out there for the sake of just being out there. He understands the stakes that are at play here, being that it's a contract year. He wants to make sure that, number one, he's healthy enough to maximize the leverage that he has, and two, wants to remain that way throughout the season. He should thrive again for Arizona once he hits the field. A reason for optimism for the Arizona Cardinals is that they have four legit cornerstone players on their roster. This is huge because not a lot of teams have one. By cornerstone players, I'm talking about the elite of the elite guys like running back David Johnson, wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald, even at his age, defensive end Chandler Jones, and cornerback Patrick Peterson. These are players that give you a chance to win each and every week, and it's the reason why, even in the down year, the Cardinals are always competitive. I would also be optimistic about two offensive rookies in wide receiver Christian Kirk and running back Chase Edmonds. Both guys are immediate impact type of players, and I compared Kirk to Odell Beckham Jr. when he was coming out of LSU. He's a guy that can play all three receiver spots, be an impact player on special teams, and has that home run hitting speed and agility to score from anywhere on the field. Edmonds was one of my favorite running back prospects in this year's draft class and was being critically underrated throughout the process for what he could bring to the table as an every down back. There are going to be times during the season where he's looking like the best player on the field and that just gives the Cardinals a great one-two punch in the backfield. Another reason is that defensively there are a lot of young talents that are not even ready to enter their prime like defensive lineman Robert Kimdishi, linebacker Sasan Reddick and Deion Buchanan and safety Buda Baker. These players have the potential to be the next cornerstone players we're talking about in Arizona and in my opinion all players are primed to have excellent seasons in 2018. 
A cause for concern would be the offensive line. When healthy, they are solid. The issue is that two of their key players in Mikey Potty and DJ Humphreys are coming off of injuries. They've already lost center AQ Shipley, which puts Mason Cole, the rookie, in the starting role. So there are some question marks about the offensive front going into the season. That question combined with the questionable health of who could be the starting quarterback, Bradford or Rosen, makes it a worry spot for the cards. And speaking of the quarterback position, this is a battle that can't drag out throughout the summer as continuity is king in football. I do like how Rosen will start to get work with the starting offensive line and wideouts as it is important to have him get acclimated to guys that he'll be potentially playing with when the season starts, if and when he plays this season. Even if he enters the year as the backup, Bradford's track record offers no guarantees that he'll be out there for the full 16 games. Both quarterbacks, in my opinion, have to be ready to go for week one. Now, here are some quick takes as the Cardinals go through training camp. I think wide receiver Chad Williams and defensive tackle Robert Kimdichie will have breakout years. Williams will have to fend off rookie Christian Kirk for that number two spot. But either way, no matter the role, he has the skill set to succeed. And I think Steve Wilkes can get the most out of Kimdichie, who has a lot of the things that you can't coach. And with the things that you can, like technique and scheme, should make for a fantastic 2018 for the Ole Miss defensive lineman. Some camp surprises are two undrafted rookie free agents in tight end Andrew Vollard and cornerback Dietrich Nichols. Both guys are playing positions that are huge needs, in my opinion, for the Arizona Cardinals and have a chance to make the roster. Vollard is a matchup nightmare a type of a prospect, and Nichols has terrific quicks and instincts for the position. Some rookie standouts this year will be running back Chase Edmonds out of Fordham and cornerback Chris Campbell out of Penn State. Edmonds was a star at Fordham and will prove to be a huge steal for the Cardinals because of his ability as a complete player. He'll be a household name by season's end, and I thought Campbell was a pro-ready type of a prospect at Penn State and should step in and hold down one of the three top spots in the secondary from a cornerback perspective from day one. And from a fantasy football point of view, running back David Johnson is the main early round target for your fantasy team. He's a yardage m machine on both ends of offense and is always a wise investment when healthy, which he should be this season. The road to the Super Bowl for the Cardinals goes as follows. The cornerstone players we talked about earlier have to remain healthy all season long. More in particular, a guy like David Johnson who means so much to their offense. But they can't lose any one of the four players for an extended period of time this year. The offensive line surprises and proves to be an asset and not a liability. If that happens, this offense will improve dramatically. And finally, whichever quarterback starts or plays can bring stability to the offense and provide some semblance of balance combined with an improved offensive line and a stout defense could easily have Arizona and Atlanta come February. I have the cards finishing third in the NFC West. There is too much talent on this team, in my opinion, for them to finish last. At worst, this is an 8-8 eight eight ball club. If the offensive line and quarterback situation gets squared away early in the season, then they could be in the mix for that final wild card spot in the NFC. I just feel like they may be just a year away from that being a cold, hard fact. So that's it for our 2018 NFL season team preview. Be sure to follow me on all of our social media accounts. Also check out and subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and to find other NFL team previews for our 2018 NFL season kickoff. Visit the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan and click that subscribe button.